Sharks bound in 2003, held up eight metres away from the Bulldogs line. This could be the set for St George Illawarra. Bauer, better ball that time for Ellis and Kerr. Then the cutout ball put down by the lock forward McBride. And the pressure is off as Thurston comes back over the 20. Well, they're really starting to get back into this game, the Dragons. And although we're, we're pretty clear on the fact that the Bulldogs have been doing it better, they're still only six ahead. The Dragons can get a try before half time here. They'll be very happy if they can go in level pegging at six all. Now it was Scott. Up over the 40, this is Emilio. Bent backwards in the tackle there of Felsch. Possession even at the moment with Brightson at a dummy half. Bulldogs have struggled to get together a real good set of six for a while in this match. Oliver passing up there. Oh, great defence on Hall. A front row, a hit perfectly there by Ellis. I didn't have to look at the number. That's PJ Ellis. Seen plenty of that over the years. Real good shot. Got great technique in defence. Sat the big fella Hall right on his backside. And he's still down now to Glenn Hall. Thurston's kick is well placed. The bounce wasn't all that good from a Bulldogs point of view. Simmons with a stumble. That is an incredible comeback from the full dot, a fullback. That's Hall in trouble, but Simmons broke his leg back in May. Would have been thinking, well, that's my season. And here he is, grand final week. A late inclusion in the side. Had a bit of first grade earlier this year, Simmons. Was player of the match, first division grand final last year. As the Dragons work forward with Kent on their own 40. And this is Attenborough. Now building all the time here. We'd be up around the, I guess, the 30,000 mark. 80,000 for the first grade decider later on tonight after 7 o'clock. Kerr's kick for the line from... Outside the 40, not by a great deal. Finds it inside the 20. Well, Kieran Kerr has received some ordinary passes. He's dropped a couple that probably haven't been too bad, but this was a perfect pickup on the toes on the last play. That really does take the pressure off your team and then puts the kick into touch. No hurry to get to this scrum either side. It's been a real Sunday afternoon stroll. Still waiting for it to pack. As Gus mentioned, you get down to this stage, first division... Grand final, 40 minutes each way. We're 13 away from half time, and the boys are a little tired. Mark Coyne, sideline. It really is amazing how much they are like to their first grade teams. You see the Bulldogs, the upper end defence, and the Dragons still attacking on the edges of their big running back rowers. Lester, in a dummy half, able to keep it alive there for Hughes. He's had a wretched run with injuries over the last few years, Stephen Hughes. Still with the club as his brothers have enjoyed. First grade success. Stephen is just an honest clubman. Dennis Scott called back. We had a false start at the trots there, and the barrier was put back into motion. 40 metres out from their line. The Bulldogs in possession. Brideson. Thurston. Good ball. Oliver. Great play, Bulldogs. Now with Hughes. And then the last ball is not good. Howland couldn't get a hand to it. Hughes is making the appeal that it was played at by the Dragons. That has fallen on deaf ears. Archer says a dragon scrum feed. Yeah, bad luck there from Hughes. He was between a rock and a hard place. Whether to pass early or try and get him behind the defence and give Howland a free run to the line. I think he was pretty right there. The Dragons player got a hand on that ball. He just dummies. Now tries to get him turned inside out. I've got no doubt the Dragons player got a fingertip there to see it over the sideline. But the ball could have been passed forward as well. And I think that's what the referee interpreted. Just going back to Stephen Hughes there, I mean, a man who's had plenty of experience in first grade. It's great to see a good club man who comes back to the lower grade and still helps out younger players, still gives 100% of himself. Even though he'd like to be in the top grade, he gets down there with the younger fellas and helps develop them as footballers for his team. And never more highlighted then last week when he got that hat trick. There's Nero, big strong setter, 22 metres away from the Bulldogs line. They've had a, plenty of chances down this end now, the Dragons. And mounting up with no result. Inside pass for Felsch. He is on the 20. Off 12. And now with Bauer looking lively at a dummy half. That kick needs to pull up. And the pressure off the Bulldogs again. It will be a 20-meter restart. Well, again, they don't come up with the points, but they really are back into this game, the Dragons. Bulldogs, things look to have turned around a bit for both teams. The Bulldogs just struggling over the last 10 minutes or so, and the Dragons really settling into their game and starting to build some pressure. Underway with Leicester. 
Dominic Talk about your players that have had bad injury runs. Leicester falls into that category. Having played in the 98 grand final, no luck since then. Morin now with the ball. Position inside the opposition 20 has turned right around. Dragons have had the greater number of chances and some big defence from Felsch. That is front on physical grand final defence on Scott. And Oliver away with Hall. He's recovered from a big hit of his own. And now Oliver looks a good number seven. Dennis Scott taken low by McBride and high by Donnelly. And that is right on the halfway line. 6-0 to the Bulldogs. As Thurston will kick for field position. He has got Simmons going back. Big roll on the kick. Off the boot. I don't think he thought it was going to go over the dead ball line. And, well, Simmons was hoping it would. And the in-goal judge says back to the 20. Oh, wee. Heart attack stuff. It had no more rolls in at that ball. It, it, had, it had stopped for the last roll, and the last roll was right on the line. There it was there. Well, that's some sort of folk dance that Simmons was doing over the ball. Watch him do the jig here with a step and a left and a right. And it's only the point of the ball that touched the dead ball line. And that was enough. Well, if they'd have cut the grass any closer today, that wouldn't have touched the white line at all. We see an error here by the uh, Dragons and a linesman coming in for a report. PJ Ellis hitting a hard hit by Hall. Now, Hall was the one that Ellis sat on his backside only moments ago. So they had a little get square separate yeah he's far too liberal with his foot all right okay he's, he's lashed out with his foot hey listen while the guy's on the ground right. it's, it's connected in, in his back okay okay it's going to be a penalty it's going to go on report let's yeah. keep the rubbish out yeah, but okay keep it out keep that, the foot out right that little Move movement there, there from right hall there. the front rower was described as he was far too liberal with his foot which is a better way than saying you give him a little kick in the back <laughs> i think you should penalize him but those two as i said earlier pj Ellis put him on his backside. Hall's been waiting for the opportunity. Hit him in a good shot. Made him drop the ball. Well, we just had Leicester come flying in on Donnelly. There's plenty of uh, blood boiling out there now in this First Division Grand Final. We're nine and a half away from half time. It was a good shot. Matua stripping the ball, but then Leicester decided to come in and add his weight to the tackle. So Dragons are 30 away, and you can make that 25 with a first hit up from Felsch. His supporters would be thinking it must be this set. Surely they get across the line as Nathan Tut brings it center field. But their work just hasn't been quite sharp enough. Bauer for Kerr. He seems the player most likely to create. Simmons away for Canavarada for that left corner and held up. Good scrambling defense from the Bulldogs. And now they will get another penalty to the Dragons. It must be close to Sinbin time here. Yeah, it's a characteristic of the Bulldogs for many, many years in the top grade. If you're under pressure, don't be afraid to give away a penalty or two. Over here. Certainly testing the referee's patience here, and the Dragons yet another chance. And Donnelly takes oh, another hit up. Crashes into the defence. Five away. Side down by six. Kerr, as they work right. Young Russell is out there. We'll tell his life story a little later. He's only 18 years of age, held up by Emilio. And now at a dummy half goes Bauer. And then the pass for Felsch. They went high on him early. And that meant he could keep the legs moving and get to within a couple of metres of the try line. Working a little better with Bauer in that dummy half roll. Kerr. And it comes to the centre Nero who was on the spin back for McBride. There's a gap there for McBride to lock forward. He is over. Finally, they crack the Bulldogs' defence. And again... We have a push and shove develop. I don't think a punch has been thrown. Although now there's a few. Hall wants a piece of it. The try has already been awarded. That will not change. It is 6-4. But it will be a meeting of the board to discuss what happened following the four-pointer to Gary McBride. Peter! No way. No way. Let's wait. First we listen to this, then I'll talk to you about the pass off the ground. Push Wait. and shove in the end goal, okay? Nothing really doing. Oh. This player's run, dragged other blokes with him. That's when it got a bit, you know, yeah. how you're going, okay? okay? No need to it, so he was the hey. problem. No punches Thanks. thrown, but Thanks. he's, you know... Hey, 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 stop, stop. I warned you down there. I told you before, settle down. You keep going on the rubbish, I'll go the next step. 
right? He knows. Reese, get out of it. Rubbish. Stay out of it. It's not your go. Listen, hey, listen, you be quiet first. You two blokes, there's time off now. Go back and tell your blokes to settle down and play football. Tell you why it wasn't a pass off the ground. Ball never came in contact with the ground, OK? That's why he passed it. Yeah, there, trying to explain yeah, to the, yeah, how this try was scored. As we freeze it there, we can see that we can see that this player has pirouetted in the tackle and this player, McBride, will come around the outside as this defender's coming off his wing. Now, there's plenty of space out there, but he's not going to use him. He's going to go himself and power his way across the line as play continues. It's Nero who spins in the tackle. McBride doubles back around. The outside defence panic about the man who's unmarked over on the edge and McBride's able to power his way to the try line. Yeah, a couple of examples we've seen in the last few minutes of plays that the, the Dragons are using to bring the Bulldogs' defence up and then either go around them or this time it was come back inside. As Nero took that tackle and popped the ball up, the, the lock coming around the back, picking it up, found a hole and through he went. Nice try from McBride and then some fisty cuffs ensued. The red and white against the blue and white. A real scuffle as Christensen's kick is successful. We have a 6 all score line. First Division Grand Final. Grand Final Day on the Wide World of Sports. Cheers, mate. Jeez, I, uh, I wouldn't camp there if I were you. There's drop bears. There's drop bears? They're, lo they're like a, a oh. bigger, meaner sort of koala bear. Oh. Then they drop yeah, on yeah. the tree. Yeah. And then grab your head. Bye. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Classic. We are six minutes away from half time in this first division grand final. While counting down to the first grade decider. And Warren will be in the chair for the Roosters against the Warriors. As heard in the tackle was Nero here and then couldn't get a play the ball in of any sort of quality. And the linesman's come on again to report something. The linesman saying it was definitely high. Hughes jumped into that play, trying to smother up the ball. Nero was the one who unloaded for the last tackle, and he does collect him a little high. A grabbing sort of motion, not a swinging arm. And the linesman jumps in there to uh, award the penalty to the Dragons, who at the moment, five and a half minutes left on the clock, would be very comfortable with the fact that they've got the more momentum coming into the half-time break. The Dragons in the knowledge they finished off so strongly against Parramatta last week when they were put under pressure. They were able to score the last two tries of the match to get through to this game. And Fuller running here with McBride, who was quite early but has really come alive over the last 20 minutes. Completion rate very impressive for the Dragons compared to the Bulldogs. Kerr... And with Felsch, he's had an impact since coming on. He's only 15 away. Bauer from dummy half. And I've got to state again, I think that's been a big change for them. He seems to have been a little more effective at acting half. Kerr back. It comes for Russell. And his kick is to the end goal. Going back is Leicester. He won't have to play at it. But at least it asks a question of the Bulldogs' defence. Definitely starting to get more control over what they're doing. The momentum swing towards the Dragons has been on the back of about four penalties in the last five minutes. We had a couple of rakeouts, we had a high shot, we had a kick in the back. And on the back of those penalties, the Dragons really are back in this game. Six all. It's going to be a great second half. In Hall, there is plenty of fire in this young front rower. He is a, a bit of a Marco Milley clone. This time it is Dennis Scott. Look at that stat. The Bulldogs have been stuck on 10 now for the last 30 minutes. And now it is the Dragons' defence that is rushing up there on Oliver. It was a good tackle from Attenborough. They're 45 away. Thurston looks to put a print on this match. Gets it away for Leicester. He is inside the 20. The kick is a good one. Emilio's there. So too Leicester. So too Barry. And none of them could get there before the dead ball line. Uh, brilliant football there from the Bulldogs. Deserving of a try. But the field is only so long. First and out of dummy half. We'll get three players interested by dummying inside, then finding Leicester on the outside. Can't pass it in field, so he kicks, beats the defence. The field is half a yard too short, and he can't get it down in time. Although, judging by the first try, it was pretty close. Dragons 
survive that one, which came very much against the run of play. Ellis had to play it now for Simmons. And 10 metres made at a dummy half. Three and a half remaining in this first half. Stick around for the half-time break here. We'll be crossing down to Chief on the ground. Very special entertainment. Bulldogs may be feeling the pinch of that defensive workload right now, which has come about from some of their own mistakes. Last tackle. And Bauer will kick a chip for himself, which doesn't bounce kindly. And Barry's able to attack the football. That's a good turn, boss. He has tacked the football all day. Doesn't like to see the ball bouncing around too much. He's prepared to come forward and hit it at speed. And when he gets it, he doesn't imagine where he's going to run with it. He just takes off and takes the yards while they're in front of him. On their 40 with Hughes. Let's take a comment from the sideline. Mark Coyne. Yeah, there's no doubt that Jonathan Thurston is the man for the Bulldogs who can pull them out of this hole. They were struggling a bit, the Bulldogs, but his spark is adding a bit of fire into them. Another great tackle. That time on Dennis Scott from Ian Donnelly. Dragons fans can expect Donnelly to be in the first grade squad next year at some stage. Oliver's kick, and then he was bowled over. Simmons comes up with the ball. A little seven straight back to his feet, but he was... He was headed for a catastrophe as two players made a charge at him. Uh, it's hard if you're a big forward, you're standing in the middle there. You don't want to take dummies. You can't disappear. Even though he put the little grubber kick through, they know he's kicked it, but they stood their ground, knocked him over, bang. Look at the two dragons, they like the big thick bread. Sandwiching the little number seven. They both had a go at him left and right. They pay the price with a penalty and give the Bulldogs a chance coming up to half time. It has been a long while since they have been down this end of the park. They are looking for a dividend with Thurston. And Ellis makes the tackle. Five away from the line. Oliver's okay. His pass for Matua. Matua passes. The bounce is the wrong one. And Emilio goes back for it. And does well in the end to stay in the field of play. Lester. He's made a good contribution in this first half. Away for Emilio. Batted on there by Harvey and kept alive from Oliver for Thurston. There's the right foot step again. Straight away from McBride, he's a good talent. And then lays it back on the ground like he's playing rugby union. It's a stripping call, Bulldogs penalty, 12 out, and about 10 metres off centre. They take the tap. A little bit of a surprise, one minute out from half time. Dominic clear, that's one. Five tackles to work with. Thurston in a dummy half. It is a very slow play, the ball from Brightson. They come left with Hall. Wouldn't he stick it up him if he got a try here? Glenn Hall, given some of the battles he's been engaged in in this first half. Brightson a dummy half. Long ball out of that point for Thurston. Rushes up, gets over the line, loses the ball. A one-on-one -on -one tackle. What a piece of play there from Reese Simmons. Thurston was over. And still thought he had the ball in his arms. An amazing bit of play there from Simmons. Good work by Thurston. The Dragons have decided they're going to sprint up outside him today and make him keep stepping back inside. They're prepared to miss a couple of tackles on him. But then on that occasion, he looks certain to score. Came through. Simmons, the last line of defence. Yours or mine? Mine. Otherwise, it was a try alongside the post to the Bulldogs. And then what's more, he got to the field of play somehow. One of the great try-saving movements I think we've ever seen. Half-time siren sounds. Well, it's a match that hasn't necessarily reached great heights, but it's been certainly tense, as tense as you would hope for in a grand final. And a six-all scoreline, early try to the Dogs, the reply from Gary McBride for the St George Illawarra Dragons. We will break on grand final day on the Wide World of Sports. This is the first division decider. Six-all, Dragons and the Bulldogs. The queen of cosmetic surgery. Same business, new name, Pamela. How did you manage that? At it again, despite her unhappy customers. Where is the public's protection? Women lured into serious surgery by giveaways and gimmicks. You can't just walk away. Plus warranty. If it's a car, it should go. Are they worth the paper they're written on? I hate being ripped off. How to avoid the runaround. It's not what we expect as a consumer. And students doubling their reading speed. I think it's going to help it. Nissan presents a current affair. <laughs> hey, 10 o'clock. <laughs> and then he took me to the football. I wish they would just take us to the opera and buy us flowers. Oh, ask me, I'd rather a few drinks and a good one night stand. <laughs> the one in the blue. <laughs> 
Footy's on. Classic. Save this week with Woolworths Special Buys. One kilo Devondale cheese, just $4.98. Save $2.45. Don't miss out on this special buy and many more, but only at Woolworths. Who's hot under $20? Sony Music gives you the world's hottest artists now under $20. Who's hot? Destiny's Child. Jamiroquai. Incubus. Killing Heidi. Who's hot? Silver Chair. Corn. Creed and more. Hot albums, hotter artists, hottest price. Under $20. Now that's hot. Things get pretty hectic around here in spring, so it's good to get a helping hand at Home Hardware. They've got a special offer on home weather guard paint, just $49.95. Or an earth core tripod sprinkler, only $19.95. We need a new Nilex hose too. Yes, this Home Hardware dogalogue's gonna liven things up around our place. <laughs> Dogalog out now. Eurolight Superstore's massive stock clearance sale means you'll save, save, save. Twist lock halogen downlight, including globe, $9.50. Double spot security sensor light, $18.90. Modern floor lamps from only $29.90. Beautiful fibre optic butterfly lights, $49.90. And Amiga Casablanca fully remote control ceiling fan and light, $89.90. Eurolight won't be beaten on price, so you'll save, save, save during the massive stock clearance sale. Are you okay? No one else was hurt, were they? That's good. <laughs> sure, I can help you with that. Is there anything else that you need? Look, this should help in the short term. I know.